Raleigh and I harvested peanuts um, a couple of weeks ago and um, I think it was actually three weeks ago. Um, and I'm, they were dry now and, or cured they also call it. So these are uh, them. Uh, I got a few that were cracked open, not so good, but the majority are looking nice. There's a variety from South America and they are striped inside. They look like this. I have a cracked open one in here. Um, they're really nice. And um, we've never really processed these before, so this is our first time. and we are going to try two methods. Um, the first one calls for just washing the peanuts like this. So I just am rinsing them, getting all the leftover soil off. I'm not very concerned about eating our soil. Um, I actually think that's healthy. This one is not good, it was sprouting. Maybe I'll give it a go. Um, so I am just going to rinse these and uh, just let them uh, dry out a little bit, um, just on a rack. Maybe this one isn't good either. Uh, and then um, the first method is just placing them on a baking tray, salting them, and uh, roasting them for like 20 to 25 minutes on, th on 350. So. I'm going to try that and then later on with the rest of the peanuts, some of the rest of the peanuts, I'm going to try the other w method, which is soaking them in a salt brine, as salty as kind of you'd like. Some people say like one teaspoon per cup of peanuts um, in, a, in the same amount of water. And you let them sit in the brine for approximately like four... I don't know, a night, and then you roast them. So we'll try. So I'm cooling down the peanuts after having them in the oven for like 25 minutes or so. Um, I already tasted some and they taste pretty good. I'm just waiting for them to cool down to see if they get a little bit more crunchy. Otherwise, I may put them in the oven for a little bit more. They taste really, really good. I think... Um, the salt brining may not be necessary because the peanut flavor of this specific variety is incredible. So, yeah. Yeah, let me see if we can see one open. It may not be strong enough with one hand. So these are the striped Ecuadorian peanuts. I broke them, but these are them. They're small, but really, really tasty. The flavor is incredible. Mmm, yes, they are crunchy.